Hi everyone and welcome to my place. Christmas is nearly here. I don't know if we're going to have Christmas or not, but I wanted to share how easy it was to do an arrangement, an elongated arrangement for your table that wasn't straight red and white. So I've put a bit of a twist into this. And I've also been asked by many, many, many people as to if you don't have a container, what can you do? And oh, I can't cut the stems. Well, I've got you covered. You are so going to enjoy this design. It doesn't matter if you don't have a container because there's this marvelous thing called a hunk of wood. If you didn't have one of these, maybe you've got a nice big bough or a big branch of a tree. You could use that because everything that we are going to do is going to be tied on. If you didn't want to use string, you could use cable ties, but I don't want to, to damage my blooms because I might want to use them for something else. Okay, let me just show you how easy this is. If you've got fruit trees, use those, but if not, don't panic, just use a couple of branches. And I'm going to have to take all of this off here because it's in my road of creativity and I don't mind bending up and down. Okay, so let me get rid of this too. If I was organised, it would be so much better for the cause, wouldn't it? So one bit of branch out there, one bit of branch out there. And I just want you to, to think that there's an imaginary line that's running right down the middle. So whatever you do on this side, you're going to do on that side. I've got two huge, long, ginormous branches of, I think that's a Montana rose hip and it's available from Prestige Botanicals. That can go to there like so, and then this one can go this end. Oh, looking good. I also have, look, these have got to go off here. These are annoying me. Get rid of those first. So times like this, I wish we were upstairs on the kitchen table, but we're not. Okay, now I've got some lovely apple branches. I'm going to put that out the side there, and then I'm gonna bring that out the side there. About now, stop what you're doing and, <gasps> get some string, a couple of long bits of string. You could, if you wanted this to be for all the time, you could glue all the bits together, but oh, I don't think that we want to do that. So we'll bring a piece of string. You'll need three bits of string. That bit of string can go there, get the ends all the same, and I'll just tie that off. You might need, I might need another hand here, but I think I can do it, yes. Just we'll tie that off there, and then the other one can come down to this end, bring those right up to the same length, and then we'll tie that off. I should have got this bit longer, but never mind, I didn't. And I don't know what's wrong with the cat. She's at my feet crying. Tilly, mummy's busy. Okay, the next thing is to bring in a couple of pieces of eucalyptus, we'll have a bit there. And because I've tied that off, what I can now start to do is I can move, I can push those through and I'll just get another one. I think that when you can, you know, work your way around doing a design that doesn't need to be cut and you've got your forms and a bit of string, a bit of wood, I call that resourceful. So I'll bring that to there and tie that off like so. Now I've got a couple of pieces of lovely olive. I'm going to bring a piece to there and I'll just, oh look there's room there, I can push, push that into there. Now you have to be careful about how wide you make this because, and because I don't know how wide your table is, you'll have to just gauge it by ear or by sight, not by ear, but by sight of where you put your forms. Now I've got five pieces of that. Bring another piece into there like that into there and then that bit can go over there. Actually I'm pleased I didn't tie that off too firmly because this is just perfect. Now I'm just going to tie that just a little bit into there, just not too tight, just enough to hold it for now. Right, the next thing I want to bring into here, oh, look at this. Oh, see that the reason I've done it the way that I've done it is because you can have it all year round and you can enjoy even when things are out of season. That can go into there, that one can go over to there. So I'm just sort of like crisscrossing them as I'm going along. Now, 
I've got that. Oh, that's a beautiful wee camellia as well. That can go into there. That can go into there. Now the other thing I need to tell you is when you're doing this, Try not to, if, it's, if you've got a great big long table, don't forget that whatever's happening here, you're gonna bring, have to bring all of that into the center here. So think about how you go. Right, the next thing I've got are, I did say I was gonna make it fall you around. I've got these lovely peonies. So they can just go into there and I'll bring that one to there. And then I've got these lovely red roses. So I'm gonna have one going into there. See, it's Christmas, but it's not Christmas, and that's what I love about this type of design. That can go to there, that can just push itself under there, and then it's just a matter of, you could put a candle in the center, or I just thought that I might like these lovely cones. So they can just poke into there, and I'm just placing these at this stage, and I will finish it off properly, but we just, Bring the cones into there like so, and then that one can go to there like that. And if I can find myself another rose, I might just get that and put that into there. And I've also got these little um, raspberries, black raspberries. They're really fruity and lovely on the table. Bring that into there, and that one can just tuck into there. And now it's just a matter of going through and just tying everything off. But how fabulous is that for a table centerpiece that can be for Christmas Thanksgiving or all year through. Now, I've got a wee tip for you. What I do once I've got this all done is if I've got some roses in my garden or I can pick up some lilies or peonies or whatever, I just then place those in amongst the design on the table. How cool is that? All of these flowers are available from Prestige Botanicals. When you go there, I've done us a deal. If you just me mention Esther 15, you will get a 15% discount. I hope it's a Merry Christmas at your place and I look forward to seeing you all again another day. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.